Next up, I want to create the walk and the push animations for our character. So let's get started on doing this. I'm going to create a new clip by pressing the plus button and I'm going to name this walk like so. And of course we need to define the start and the end frames for the walk. So the start frame will be 194 and the end frame is 217 like so. And again, we've got these icons displayed here, the loop match between the start and the end frame. We know that in the case of walking, this should be a loopable pose because the player may hold down the forwards key, for example, to continue walking over time. And we need to loop that walkable animation. So I'm going to enable the loop time checkbox. And I'm also going to enable the loop pose checkbox. And I'm going to scroll down here to the field that says root transform position. And I'm also going to enable the bake into pose field to help keep this character grounded onto the floor. If I now press the play button on the toolbar, you can see in the preview animation, we now have this character walking away and this isn't looking too bad at all. So we've got this character walking and that's looking okay. So I'm going to leave those values there at their defaults. And I'm going to choose apply to so scroll down, choose apply to create those clips there. So we now have the idle chair and the walk clip. The final clip I want to create is the push clip, which is going to be played when the character pushes the box. So I'm going to press the plus button again, and I'm going to name this one push like so. I'm going to scroll down. And again, the start frame for this clip is 220 and the end frame is going to be 250 which is already uh, at that value. Um, the loop match values here are enabled and again the character could be holding down the forwards button when pushing a box so we want this pose to be loopable so I'm going to enable loop time and loop pose press play on the toolbar let's just see this animation in action and there we are, this frame is now playing and this character is pushing the box. And it's looking pretty good, I think. So I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. So I'm going to accept these values here and just scroll down and press the apply button. And so now what we have is we have our four clips here, the idle, cheer, the walk and the push. These are all the clips that we need here for this character. So I'm pretty happy with how everything is looking. So I'm going to leave this all as is and we're ready then to move on.